Hello, I'm Molly and I'm doing a Masters in Global Public Health and today I'll be giving you an overview on dislocation. So dislocation is a concept coined by Bruce K. Alexander, who's a psychologist and retired professor from Vancouver, Canada. He taught psychology of addiction and the history of psychology um, at Simon Fraser University. Alexander has written books on addiction and the war on drugs, as well as conducting the famous Rat Park experiment in the 1970s and 80s. He argues that addiction is more of a social problem that develops as an adaptive technique when societies across the globe become fragmented and people start to experience dislocation. So it can be argued that social fragmentation started around the time that Christopher Columbus went to America. Colonizers used enslavement, conquest, disease, exploitation and ecosystem devastation to fragment whole societies. More recently, the development of technology, capitalism and neoliberal policies have socially fragmented our everyday lives. From this fragmentation comes dislocation, which are the psychological consequences of societal fragmentation. Dislocation can be described as a void experienced on three separate levels, social, existential and spiritual. So social dislocation can be experienced as the absence of meaningful connections between individuals and their families, societies, nations, occupations or traditions. Existential is the absence of feelings of belonging, identity and purpose. And then spiritual dislocation can be described as poverty of the spirit or being forgotten by God. So what dislocation does is it undermines these notions of belonging and meaning, identity and purpose. And when dislocation is endured for extended periods of time, it can lead to things like anguish, suicide, depression and domestic violence. It's this feeling of dislocation that can facilitate addiction. So substance use, including illegal drugs, alcohol, technology, porn, consumerism can provide some relief from the emptiness that people are feeling and the substance or addiction becomes a substitute for that feeling of belonging that they're lacking and can help to fill the void of dislocation. Addiction can provide someone with a purpose at least for some period of time and to some degree even though this addiction can often be twinned with guilt and remorse. In a way it is quite understandable that people who have experienced difficulties in their childhood or who are dealing with some really difficult emotions and situations in their current life would want to find relief from that. And for some, this relief comes in the form of substance addiction. What Bruce K. Alexander argues is that many people are addicted to some degree to some sort of substance or distraction in our modern society And actually, illegal drugs and alcohol are just a small part of that. It's quite interesting to reflect on some of the habits that we all may rely on in difficult times and to try and interrogate how really different our coping mechanisms are to those who are in the position of drug or alcohol addiction. And from there, it's important to try and break down our own judgments and stigma towards these people. You can find out more about dislocation and more of Bruce K. Alexander's work on his website.